hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm alexis if you didn't already know and i am in tennessee y'all as y'all can see by the title look will alexis be moving here shaylee will we be moving here will we be roommates no let's let's <laughs> keep watching the vlog to find out i'm gonna show y'all a quick um room tour we're about to do a quick room tour just that you know mom i got the camera out all right, let me flip the camera so I can show y'all the quick little uh, Airbnb tour. All right, y'all. So if you're wondering, really, is Alexis moving here? <laughs> no, I am not. We came to visit just in case Shaylee wants to move here, okay? So we're actually, this vlog, y'all just go see us go around Tennessee and have a good time. So make sure y'all stay and watch the full video to see Tennessee. We are literally like 15 minutes from downtown. So y'all literally go see all the lit stuff. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the rest of this vloggy vlog. And like I said, no, I'm not moving here. I love Atlanta. I would never move from Atlanta. Probably not. Sure. <laughs> all right, bye. So of course this is the living room. And you see Shaylee that doesn't have any kind spirits, so. Here's the TV. This dress is actually pretty dope. I like this, I like this a lot. Look at this candle, details, details. This is the dining room area. We got this big ass bag of chips <laughs> and some cookies, y'all. Then we have the kitchen. So I can see steel appliances. Like I said, this is the Airbnb, so this is not uh, an apartment that we are staying in. All right, so this is the room one, TV, bed, closet. This is room two, TV, say hello. All blue, look at the details. And then I'm gonna show you all the bathroom. This is the bathroom to the Airbnb. And that is the tour of the Airbnb. Tennessee, yes. about to have a good night and get Liddy. These yes. pictures are so cute. We about to get Liddy. Yes. Yeah, don't she look so good? They're so cute. Don't we look so good, y'all? There he is. So loud, drop my phone out. Thank you. 
Vintage Wood Creek. I'm assuming you have to. Yep, there's the pool. This is a lounge and lobby. Hello. Hello. So we're here to look at Hello. one bed, one bath. So we are at Lanyap Bayou Kitchen. Open. Absolutely adorable. So I have the catfish, Cajun catfish po' boy with some type of like sauce, macaroni pie, bread, and butter. So yeah, guys, I'm about to shout down. Bye. All right, y'all. Um, we got out of the restaurant. Shaylee, what would you rate it? I would rate it uh, seven or eight. Me too. Yeah. I will say a seven or eight, y'all. Yeah. It actually, they had this mac and cheese. That was like soul food. It was it was good. Mm -hmm. But yes, y'all. If y'all ever come to Tennessee, we can't or Nashville, huh? So we can't say the name of the uh, no, no. the restaurant. No, no. I mean, most people don't say it if they not being sponsored, but girl. No, I'm saying literally pronouncing the name. Oh. <laughs> oh no, I do know how to say it. Uh. On the sign in the front, it's got to it's pronouncing pronunciation. Yeah. And the parentheses, it's a la yay. La yay? Let me, all right. So the restaurant is actually called Lan Yap. La Yap. Oh my God, don't be telling these people so. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce it, but y'all see in the footage the name of the, the restaurant, y'all see that sign. So if y'all ever in Nashville, Tennessee, and looking for a nice place to eat with some, um, Decor. Good vibes. Good vibes. They gave us samples of some type of dessert and it was it was good. But yeah, yeah, we about to get into our next best thing, which we're about to go get some boba. So y'all gonna see that. This is the next spot, y'all. Yin Yang tea. Look at this. This is so dope. It's a hella construction, but yes, hold on. All right, guys, so we got Yin Yang tea. This is mine. We got the exact same tea, but I got um some poppers in mine. And we have, what are the black ones called? Are they tapioca, but what's the flavor? Is it a flavor? Yeah. We just have black tapioca balls from Yin Yang here in Nashville, Tennessee. Copyright? Nashville, Tennessee. So this is actually only my second time having boba tea. This is my first time having, was it Terra? What's it called? Mm -hmm. So let's do a first, a taste. To me, it tastes oh. like, to me, it tastes like Captain Crunch. The one with all the different colorful balls, but then it got the, like the yellow pieces in it. Yeah, this is definitely, 
Captain Crunch. This tastes like Captain Crunch. This is delicious. But yes, y'all, we're finna go to our next mission. So, what's this called? Let me try to go copyright. Bicentennial 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 We about to give y'all views for days, okay? So, what do you think this is then? The Bicentennial Mall and then this is just like the outside part? That's the state museum. Oh, um, it looks like it's closed because ain't nobody walking in or nothing. Okay, yeah, we about to go into this farmer's market because I haven't been to a farmer's market since I was a kid, <laughs> literally. Remember we took that field trip downtown? I heard it was a farmer's market, it was huge. He was there, but I don't remember what grade we was in. Dead. Look at this, look behind you. Dope. So, with the farmer's market, they was closing at 4 p.m. for a private event. So, I didn't get to show y'all really anything, but it's okay. So, this is, I don't know what this is called, but this is basically giving tribute to all the soldiers that I guess are from Tennessee and fought in wars. Tennessee's first radio station began broadcasting in Memphis in March 2020, 1922. So it just has factual information. Just a monumental thing. Do we have one of these in St. Louis? I feel like I've seen one for sure down there, but I'm not quite sure. I don't think it's like in St. Louis. It's probably like Old Fallon or just Just different factual information. Say what? Well, <laughs> passed in 1909. The giant stepped forward with founding five colleges, mainly normal schools for teacher education. They became state universities, although prize distillers series and movies had operated for decades. Prohibition was highly debated in the 50s. Look, the guy over there is working out, guys. Girl, have you been seeing all those? Okay, I had to put this on here, y'all. I'm not gonna read this whole thing. I'm gonna let y'all read it. If y'all gotta pause the video, then pause the video. But I had to, because it says the Negro Building. See, there's names all on this sidewalk here. I guess there are people that's like monument to people from the history. Shaylee wanted to come in here. Terror, conviction, courage, triumph, gratitude. Miracle war protection. Ooh, this globe is fire. Hold on, yeah, I'm about to take a picture. This part. I don't know what the fuck that was. Cause I think, uh, Look at that. That's actually low-key dope. Excuse me. best friend at a uh, Asian street food restaurant and that was Saturday night of I guess the was that the 20 
3rd. I got home on Sunday afternoon around 1 o'clock on April 25th. Right now, it is currently March 1st, Sunday, March 1st. And I completely forgot to, like, close out that whole vlog. Literally, Sunday night, we went and got dinner um, at the Asian Street Food Place. Um, we were going to get ice cream later on, but we got back super late and most of the places were closed. So, literally, we all went back to the Airbnb and crashed. Like, I remember going back to Airbnb and I watched Moon Knight on, um, on Disney Plus and was knocked out. The next morning, um, we checked out of the Airbnb maybe around 12, no, 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 maybe around like 9, 10 a.m. Um, I got back home in Atlanta around 1.30ish p.m. So, literally... That is how the weekend ended. Um, Tennessee was actually really great overall. Um, I would definitely love to go again. This trip was more like a um, businessy trip. Like we went to go look at areas that my best friend would like to live in. Um, we went in toward an apartment. Well, apartment like we really didn't get to tour the apartments, but this was more businessy. So we was really just checking areas. We really wasn't there to have fun. Friday night, we did get very much lit and that kind of, I don't want to say ruined the rest of the trip, but it kind of got all of us really like tired and we all, we all just got to the point where, you know, we were just ready to get home. But let's talk about this hat. So as y'all seen in the previous clips, I have this cowboy hat on and yeah, literally funny story about this dang on hat. Um... Literally, we was all dancing, we was getting lit, and I don't know, something told me, like, I tripped over something, I looked down, and it's this hat. So, y'all probably like, why would you go and pick up this hat and wear it for the rest of the night? Honestly, I don't know. I do not know. I stole someone's hat. Um, I was wearing it the whole night. No one ever asked for it back. I got plenty of compliments on it. Um, literally... Literally, it was just that, like, and I'm keeping it, and that's how it's forever going to be. I'm always going to keep this. I'm going to wash it because I got a lot of makeup on it that night, and I haven't put it on since I got back home. But how y'all feel about it? It's actually supposed to be worn like this, but I think the night of the videos, I was wearing it like this. It was backwards, like the tag was in the front, but... I really like this. I've always wanted like a cowboy hat, like, but I live in Atlanta. So it's like, why would I wear a cowboy hat? And like, what outfit would I put with this? But definitely when I go back, I'm going to wear this. Um, and it's just, I'm just going to give a look. Like, I'm just going to give a look. But overall, like I said, Tennessee, the like state, like Nashville, Tennessee, like Tennessee, the state, city, Nashville, uh, rate, um, 10 out of 10. Good energy, good vibes, loving people, happy people. The trip, 7 out of 10. I will be going back soon. And when we go back, we're going to have more fun. Um, it won't be like a business -y type of trip. But um, if you all ever been to Nashville, uh, tell me what was your favorite part about Nashville? Where did you go? Where should I go and visit next time? Um, if you all want to plan on visiting Nashville, comment down below. You can ask me any questions you want. I will tell you about like where we went um, in more detail, how the environment was, how was the food. Um, if you happen to catch the clips where we went places and you want to know more about those places, definitely either message me or um, comment down below. But like I said, uh, Tennessee was definitely a 10 out of 10. It was a full vibe. But... Like I was saying, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.